Hey guys, welcome back. We have some updates on the stolen Mew. We have somebody that made a post about it online. We have somebody that showed up to see if they could retrieve it from the person that made a post online. And now we have a suspicious individual that was recorded selling it to the individual that has it in their possession now. So what's going on here and uh, what can we learn from this? Well, a whole lot. We can, we can learn a whole lot on every end of this. Maybe, first of all, you might want to be careful if you're going to collect con LA because it seems like a whole lot of stuff was stolen, including uh, Dr. Dr. Applesauce. He uh, he had some possessions stolen, a laptop, I believe it was, according to Gary, uh, who sent me a message about it. Uh, there's a whole lot of thieving going on, a whole lot of thieving going on at this event. And, um, you know, it is it is very ironic that. Dr. Applesauce had his computer stolen and he had the police retrieve it for him uh, since he's such a, an advocate for it's okay to open stolen cards. It's okay to purchase stolen cards, but it's not okay to steal his laptop. I know. What a terrible hypocrite he is. Now, let's get into the stolen card itself. There were details posted on the old Instagram. I made a video about it. About this and, and another card that was stolen. It sounds like there were more cards than that stolen from the event itself. If anyone has additional details on those, additional photos of the cards that were stolen, uh, please do send them my way and we can try to get as many eyes on it as possible. Hopefully get everyone their money back. Hopefully get everyone their cards back. It's it's a whole it's a whole lot of mess. Be careful if you're buying as well. We're we're gonna learn I think that's the biggest lesson for today. If you buy from a shady back alley deals, eventually you're going to buy some stolen stuff and it's going to be a mess. That's what we're seeing today. All right. Now we got the uh, stolen Mew, Poke Beyond here, who's uh, taking the old lap. You got to take a lap shot when you, when you buy a, a Mew that is very underpriced. And that's the thing too, is if it's too good to be true, if someone's showing up to sell you this thing, you got to be very careful. It's the same reason. I don't know if it's everywhere, but at least in these parts, when, if you're a pawn shop, it must be everywhere. If you're a pawn shop, you got to you got to take some kind of record, some kind of identification from the person that is selling you stuff, because oftentimes, if they're bringing it to a pawn shop, if they're unloading it at a fraction of the price that it should be, it's probably hot. It's probably stolen. You probably are buying stolen goods. And now you can pretend that you don't know it's stolen as much as you want to, but eventually it's going to catch up to you. And uh, this is one of those examples. Now we have a follow-up post that says, so apparently this card was, this was on Saturday, was stolen at Collecticon. Met up with a dude who I thought was going to buy it, but he just was just trying to get it back for his homie. He thought it was, I was the thief, but I bought it off the actual thief a few hours ago without knowing. We're good now, and I am in the process of helping them find the people involved in stealing multiple cards that weekend. Update soon. So that's the thing too. Cameras, make sure you have cameras rolling. Make sure you have nothing that can possibly get into the hands of a thievy DV. If you're going to these events, there's going to be thieves there. And that region, my apologies, LA, but it's uh, it seems like a prime spot for, for stealing, if you will. Whether that has to do with law enforcement or anything else, it's, it's, I mean, the proof is just in the fact that I, I can't even keep track of how many things were stolen from that event. I think there was, ca there was camera equ equipment stolen as well. Like, it, it's wild. From the event staff. Now, we have the meetup here, the meetup post, the Instagram follow-up post by Poka Beyond, who says, Luckily, I have the footage of me buying the card from the thief, or else I would have been in deep trouble. Now, we're going to take a look at the entirety of the video there. Um... Uh, I I have to believe the fact that Poke Beyond here is is telling the truth. Now I think they were very irresponsible in purchasing something like this without getting some sort of identification from this individual. Trying to make a quick flip, trying to flip it immediately, and then they're like, "Oh, my hands are clean. I don't have to do. I don't have to worry about it because I uh, I didn't know it was stolen. I didn't. I, I don't. I did, there was no." No mention of uh, whether it was stolen or not. And we'll take a look at just like how careless this person is being. Hopefully they're more careful in the future with what they're buying and selling. Because again, it impacts everyone involved. Especially the people that are having their stuff stolen. Uh, and then it's going to be a huge headache. Even if they get their stuff back, it's going to... This is proof that it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Because you're going to have 16 little flip dippers who are going to flip it. In between, they're going to want their money back. The individual who sold the stuff probably doesn't have the money to... Uh, at this point anymore to 
to refund the whole thing because if they if they did they're probably not stealing in the first place so here we go we got another post a follow-up post from today the time the day that this is posted um and uh, beyond says i posted the video of the interaction regarding the stolen mew if you guys could do me a favor and leave a nice comment i'd appreciate it the comments are not what i expected all right so we got the tiktok and now you'd say rattle i if i didn't see if he didn't have an account that was this large just because uh, i'm he's recording this to make content so it makes sense that it was recorded if he wasn't making content like this and he just all of a sudden randomly had this one interaction that he recorded and nothing else, I would have been calling BS, but it does make sense. Now, what also makes sense is the fact that you don't have to scroll very far to see that like this guy is buying like thousands of dollars in per transaction here and a lot of this stuff can be stolen. Now, I'm not saying that you have to uh, you need to check this person's criminal record or anything like that, but you do want to make sure that you have the person's actual information. If you're going to be making multi-thousand dollar transactions, you want to make sure that it's not stolen goods. Now, what makes me think that this person is Brian here, Brian, Brian Beyond, same Brian Beyond as the Poke Beyond. I don't know why, I guess maybe the name was taken on one platform and not the other. You got to be careful. And you got to be responsible with this kind of thing. Yes, I know people are going to be saying, oh, it's just Pokemon cards, Ratho. What the hell? Yeah, well, it's thousands of dollars worth of Pokemon cards. And eventually, I, I mean, it, it, it would blow my mind if somehow we could magically know that none of the other stuff was stolen here uh, without getting into the fact that, like, we have unreleased product, which is either it's either breaking street date or it, it's stolen that you're dealing with here. And you can, you can make up what you want. You can see the texture on them and everything too, bro. They're all pretty much in here, man, right? Yeah. I mean, they can't be used. They're not nah. even out here. They come out February 9th or 8th in the tents. Yeah, I'm a great Well, I have vending machines too. So you got sketchy transactions going on here. They're back alley ones. I think even in the comment section there, someone's like, oh, I love the back alley sketchy Pokemon deals that you're doing. Uh, we got, again, it's just like, okay, maybe, maybe he has distribution. Maybe someone has distribution. Maybe they're breaking street date or maybe they're stolen from the factory. If it goes back, that's if it's over a month beforehand or stolen from distribution, that could very, very easily happen. What I'm showing here is the fact that you need to be responsible with that stuff like that that's a big no-no i know the applesauce is creaming his pants right now he's like what the hell rattle why are you calling out my my stolen laptop and now we're talking about stolen pokemon cards again yes you need to be careful you need to be responsible and even if you don't think it's your fault or your responsibility to know or at least you have to at least at least take a few minutes to go in there to make sure you have the person's actual identification when you're doing big transactions with them. Because sketchy back alley stuff, not every time, not every single time. Maybe it's just somebody that needs some money and it's their own stuff. But when they can't even tell you the same name as we're going to see here, let's watch the uh, the video here. And yes, the, 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 the individual that's trying to get the card back here is overly aggressive. Um, but I mean... Wouldn't you be if if you had your stuff stolen? This guy's showing up. He's selling it like immediately after. You don't know if it it was flipped in between or or anything else. Um, so hopefully Brian gets his money back. Hopefully Brian learns his lesson and is more careful with what he's purchasing to make sure that it's not stolen. At least at least at least attempt to to make sure that it's not stolen. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's watch the whole video here. Um, and uh, and see how it went down. Brian's currently um, in possession of the the card for the time being. Hopefully, he gets his money back. He's going to try and get in contact with the person that sold it to him, which is probably the person that stole it. If not, is there another transaction before that? Let's watch. You know what's crazy about this card? What? It was stolen from me like two weeks ago. Oh really? Yeah. That collecticon. You remember that? Bro, I literally bought it from some girl. Let me hear about it. Look. No, because I can call the cops right now. There's a police report on it and everything. I can show you that police report right now on Facebook. Nice to meet you. I'll check it out. Dude, I haven't seen this card in so long. When did you buy it? I literally bought it today, bro. You bought it today? Yeah. It's popped like 400, I'm pretty sure. Dude, that's a crazy card. You know what's crazy about this card? What? It was stolen from me like two weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah. 
That Collecticon, you remember that? Bro, I literally bought it from some girl. Let me hear about it. Look. No, because I can call the cops right now. There's a police report on it and everything. I can show you that police report right now on Facebook. Look, bro. From LA. I literally have the film too. Let me see it. Okay. Because this car is staying with me or we can we can call the police. Because this car was stolen two weeks ago from me at Collecticon. And I'm pretty sure you were on camera there. Bro, I literally bought it right now, like a few hours ago. That's a good story. I would have said that same thing. This is a $3,200 car, you know that? Bro, I did not steal it. You I know when people steal things like this? It bro, fucks, bro, it I'm gonna... all my money up. I don't care I literally do me. TikTok. That's good you're on TikTok. You can put me on there. Bro, but I didn't steal it. Complex, I didn't look, steal it though. Let me show you. Look, stolen car, Collecticon. This is the exact same cert number right here. Okay, no, 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 I get that, I get that. I get that, bro, but I this literally... the same card right here, bro. No, I literally have the footage of buying it from the girl today. The girl? Yeah, it's a girl. I swear to you. I could show you the footage. I, I record all my meetings. You seem nervous. Yeah, because... I don't seem nervous at all, because this is my card that was I'm stolen. I seem nervous because I literally bought it today for like 2000 right, something. Show okay. 2000 something, that doesn't make sense. It's a $3,500 card That's right why now. I bought it. I'm a reseller, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little bit weird. I mean, I, okay, he's put on he's put on the spot a little bit here, but he doesn't know the price, the exact price that he paid for it. But he bought it that day. Like you're quick flipping this stuff, and I I have to think that you're probably you're probably trying to just get rid of it as fast as possible because deep down you probably you're probably under the impression that this is stolen or that it's it's likely stolen. You like thousand dollar discounts here? Too, bro. All right. I could literally show you. Let me just. See. So two, four, six, eight. So it wasn't just earlier that day. It was only a few hours ago. Twenty four hundred dollars. Ten one two four six eight ten two three four five six seven eight nine ten. I also don't understand, like, he he's going to ask for the card here. Like, this video seems kind of staged, but I don't, it should, just could be a, the way that the sketchy transaction went down. Let me know what you guys think. So she wanted all cash, but you took out a thousand cash. You didn't look at the card yet. She, he's going to look at the card after he takes out the thousand cash to give to her. I'd like to see, like, what the interaction was prior to this as well. Uh, if, like, he has, if she showed up in a vehicle... And I can just tell you the rest. Is it cool if I check out the card first? Yeah. Is it for your personal or? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Damn. I just want to scan it with uh, PSA. Okay. Do you want me to sell you? Sell someone else or something? That's why it's also important that if you file a police report, you get in touch with PSA so that they can deactivate the cert or like the cert is stolen. Do you only sell on off rip or somewhere else? So, red flag. Uh, when someone's uh, payment methods are not working, um, and uh, not necessarily, maybe she just all of a sudden, she she sold too much stuff and it's it's limiting her. She can't withdraw it right away, which is a security feature. Um, or the, they've done something sketch and the, the payment the payment methods, your PayPal's, your stuff like that, your Zell's, they do not want to limit your account. They don't. They don't. They want transactions to happen because they make money off of the transactions. It's a bad. It's a bad sign. I just sent it. I don't know if you got it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Let me cash it out. Ah, uh, for sure. Let me make sure it goes through. Yeah. There you go. You can count it again if you want. Yeah. Thank you. Good. What's your name again? Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. So the the transaction. Uh, also, if somebody's looking for all cash, then they don't want a transaction record because yes, all of those financial transactions they can be traced back to you, regardless of how anonymous anonymous you think you are, or if you're using someone else's. There's a record there versus if someone shows up, but she's probably upset or probably like. 
a little, she got to be a little bit, she, got, she must see the GoPro or whatever the hell's on his chest or strap or whatever's going on here. On his, I don't know how he's got it, got it on it. It, it looks like it's on his chest. Maybe on his head. Maybe he's got one of those like little, the like the helmet with the the camera on it. I know some of you. Yeah. So he records all of his interactions with with cards. Okay. So the the kid I'm meeting right now, I don't really think stole this card. He bought it from somebody though today for twenty five hundred cash on offer up. And they're also selling a six thousand dollar crystal Charizard. Crystal, yeah, yeah. Did you get one of those stolen? No? Okay, no. What do you want me to do? I have this card in my hand. What do you want me to do? Because if I call the police, are they going to are they going to take the card and, and keep it for the next three years? Or do you want to try to get something sorted out with this kid to meet the girl that he yeah. met today? If we can just keep the, the card for now, hold it. Don't, don't, don't make any other sales. Um, we can just do it by ourselves and then not involve the, the cops. She posted your mu this Mew on OfferUp for 2500 So that's how he found it. Look. I'm I, looking at I it right now. It up, bro. She literally posted it 20 yeah. hours ago. I'll take a picture of it for you. Hold on one second. On offer up, she um, she hid the serial number yeah. of the card, but this kid did not, which is why I thought obviously he's the one that took your card. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't never do that. Bro. But which would have been crazy. <sighs> you know what's crazy about this card? All right, so. Um, hopefully a learning lesson again for, for everyone involved. If anyone can identify the uh, lady, the, uh, the, the Jasmine slash Evelyn, um, Evelyn or whatever she said, uh, Evelyn, when you, when you hesitate to say your own name, uh, I mean, no, well, maybe not. Pokemon collectors can be pretty awkward, including myself at times. If anyone knows the identity of her, if anyone knows anything about a crystal Charizard that was potentially stolen from Collecticon, Please let me know. We'll see if we can't track down this individual. See if we can't get everyone's money back. See if we can't get everyone's cards back. Just be careful out there, guys. Be careful. It's it, it, There's shady people doing shady stuff. And you can't really just be negligent about it. You gotta do your, do your due diligence. Uh, no quick flipping stolen goods. No buying stolen packs, stolen promos. Stay away from the stolen stuff. Try to make sure the stuff isn't stolen. It's going to cause you a headache. It's going to cause the original owner a headache. It's uh, hopefully eventually going to cause a headache for the person that stole the stuff. That's all we got for today. I'll let you know if there is a follow-up. And uh, please do reach out with any information. Join the Discord. See you next time. Bye.